Canada's men's basketball team takes center stage on Sportsnet this weekend with a pair of World Cup qualifying games. They take on the Dominican Republic on Saturday and then the Virgin Islands on Sunday. And here to get you set, here to get you pumped up for a little Canadian ball, let's bring in three-time Canadian Olympian Natalie Achanwa. Natalie, you'll be a part of our broadcast for these games this weekend. Now, if people are just sort of checking in now, the World Cup qualifying process can be a little bit complicated. Where does Canada sit right now? Well, I mean, like you said, it's quite quite the tournament in order to get to the world stage and compete at the World Cup. Uh, after following our two blowout wins in November, we're in a good stance here going into this uh, weekend with these games, especially against the Dominican Republic. They had a great showing in their first tournament as well. So I expect a little bit of competitive game. But if they bring their A game like they did in November, I expect wins in both games this weekend. Now, it goes without saying, of course, the NBA is in season. We won't have any access to NBA players. So what do you think this roster is going to look like and who should we be looking out for? Well, we always talk about the importance of depth in Canada mm-hmm. basketball, especially like we said, there's it's quite a strenuous tournament kind of style in order to get to the World Cup and also with the Olympic qualifier. So our depth is important. Being able to go 20, 30 guys deep when we can't call on an NBA talent, it's really important for us in these phases. So um, Kyle's a great staple. I mean, he shot the lights out last time in November. So he's a he's a great player for them. He brings the energy and he leads them really well. So I'm, I'm always looking for Kyle uh, going into this weekend. The former Kentucky Wildcat, Gonzaga Bulldog, and the league candidate. He's near the top of the scoring list so far in these World Cup qualifying games now. So if he leads the way for Canada, no NBA talent, how do we feel about Canada's World Cup qualifying chances? I mean, it's kind of the elephant in the room, right, Nat, that we haven't done quite so well on the men's side in qualifying for major tournaments. You know, I'm always rooting for us. I'm always rooting for us to bring whatever we need. And that's, like I said, going to that depth, going into people really digging deep and representing their country. You get an extra sense of pride, an extra sense of energy in tournaments like this. We were just in Japan uh, earlier in the month with a women's national team too. And you find something a little bit deeper when it's on the line. So I love our chances and uh, I'm hoping the guys come out here compete and that we can have a women's and a men's team in the world cup. Love the positivity going into a couple of big games this weekend, Natalie, looking forward to seeing you on the broadcast and hopefully we get a couple of wins and nice to see your dog too. I know Aston's making an appearance. (laughs) Thanks for having me.